but I, I'm confident. I'm, I'm uh, looking forward to uh, telling the truth to Monsignor Shkluna, and I'm confident that hopefully um, something will happen after my testimony and, and those of um, so many. be honest, we'll see what the outcome is of all this, but I feel that um, Monsignor Shikluna is, um, is a very good man, um, and I think he was sincerely moved by what I was saying. He cried. I did tell him, though, um, that I am in a way privileged to be heard and that it shouldn't be that way. I am not, um, our case has risen in the media and it's getting attention now. There's thousands of cases around the world that, um, that need a, the same attention than this one. This should be a policy that every survivor in the world should be heard um, with respect and uh, should be receive the treatment that I received here today. The Pope needs to understand that that is what survivors need, that it, 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 cases don't have to come to the media uh, for um, them to pay attention to. I'm, I'm assuming that the Pope is taking this seriously. What I can tell you is that Monsignor, Monsignor Shikluna and Father Jordi from the Congregation of the Doctrine of the Faith uh, felt that they were taking it very seriously because we not only spoke about Juan Barros, but we talked about the Chilean Cardinals and what they had done or not done, um, how the Church in Chile has um, come to the point it has come. This is my cousin. <laughs>